Hi everybody, just a very brief video today to look at a tool that's going to assist us when it comes to converting points. Or in other words, if I have points that are in a point file, maybe survey points in an ASCII file format, uh, we've got a mechanism that will help us convert the file format from one to another. So let me explain. First, we'll open up and take a look at our folder here on Tuesday. In the Tuesday folder, I've got a, a text file that contains points that were collected in the field. We'll double click to open that. And in Notepad, I can see the file format is currently point number, northing, easting, elevation, and description. Now, uh, it's not magic that I'm able to tell that by looking at it. I just happen to know that's the format that it was created in. So uh, it's all numeric, um, with the exception of maybe the first description here that was a section corner. But uh, point number, northing, easting, elevation, descriptions under numeric as well, and it's common limited. Now, if for some reason I needed to deliver this data to somebody else, maybe in a, in a slightly different or maybe extremely different file format, maybe I needed to deliver it in point number, easting, northing, uh, space delimited uh, with an elevation but no descriptions. In the past, what I would have done is brought those points into a file, uh, exported them using a different file format. Well, what I want to do is I want to show you that we can make that conversion from one to the other without ever having to touch the points at all. So let me explain. In the Civil 3D output ribbon, in the export panel, we've got a tool here that's called transfer points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select transfer points and basically it's going to walk through the process of what I would have done in a number of steps manually. It's going to take and automate that for us. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select a point file format for the source file that I'm working with. In this case, it's point number, northing, easting, elevation, description, comma delimited. And then I'm going to go ahead and select that file. So we'll come over and select survey1.txt. I'm then going to tell the system what format I'd like those, point, those points or that point file to be exported into. So I can select that from my drop-down list here. Let's do a point number, um, just to make it different, easting, northing, elevation, space delimited. So we're changing a number of parameters. We're dropping the, the uh, descriptor. We are... Uh, inverting the easting and the northing and we're making it space delimited as opposed to comma delimited. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to give that a name. We'll put it in the same folder here. We'll call this uh, survey converted. We'll go ahead and click that to lock that down. And then what I can do is I can, I can go ahead and uh, apply or click OK to accomplish that, but I, I also want you to take note of the manage button here at the bottom. Civil 3D ships with a number of point file formats that are already predefined for us for us to use, and in many cases that will include pretty much everything that you can uh, you can imagine or that you'll need. But if there's ever an opportunity that you'd like to create something different, maybe something that's not part of the norms, or you'd like to build something totally custom because maybe you've got some additional values you would like taken into account when you bring those point files in or those those uh, points from an ASCII file into your uh, model and you'd like a point file format that would accommodate that, you can do that from here. So I could use the manage button, select maybe for example uh, the data that I had here was a little bit different, maybe it had a uh, another uh, description and then another attribute that was at the end of the data. I'm going to select common limited. We could go ahead, we could uh, modify that. If we look at the descriptors for that, we see it's point number, northing, easting, elevation, description. I could come in here and I could uh, modify that to add other uh, parameters uh, or uh, input areas that we could collect or, or deal with data in uh, in addition to what was there originally. So in this case, I, I don't need to do that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, accept the, uh, the parameters that exist. Um, we also have the ability that we could create a new point file format. We could copy an existing one and then modify that to include uh, or remove different values as required. So very, very helpful tool. I want to make sure and point that out so that folks know they are not limited to just those point file formats that ship with the application. So with that, I have uh, selected my point file format here. Let's go ahead and drop this one out because it looks like I've grabbed two, grabbed two of them at this point. We've got uh, common limited. There is our input file. I've got the new format. There is our output file. We're going to go ahead and say OK. That operation was successful. We'll click on OK. I'm going to come down and we will take a look at our uh, folder here for Tuesday. 
If I look at uh, Survey 1, that is my original data that we started with. Let's take a look at Converted. We'll drag that over here to the side. And then when I click on this guy, we can see this was point number, northing, easting, elevation, description, all common limited. We now have point number, uh, northing, and easting we see have been inverted. Uh, we have elevation. The description has been removed, and the delimiter in between them is now space. All right, so once again, using the um, tool that we just, uh, just took and walked through, the transfer points, we're able to make that conversion directly from the point file itself without having to, once again, as I would have done in the past, brought the points into my file using one point file format and then turned around and re-exported them to a different one. We're able to perform that uh, transfer from one format to another directly on the point file itself without ever having to interact with the points. I hope this has been helpful, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.